So as the weather warms up, more people getting out and about, the wildlife is too. Over the weekend, coyote sightings and incidents were reported in the Boise foothills, and unfortunately, a family dog was attacked and killed by a coyote near Holes Gulch. There's an edict of coexistence, but we wanted to know if this type of aggression by a coyote was abnormal and what would be typical coyote behavior. Are we seeing more of them out there? And if so, why? Katya Stepovic has those answers. They look at us and, and then typically they will just turn and, and walk or run away. But with an estimated minimum population of over 52,000 coyotes in the state of Idaho, that's not always the case. The coyotes here in the urban interface, they tend to be um, more, they kind of shift their behaviors to be more of a, an animal that roams and hunts at night. Uh, but when they start having young to be rearing and raising, that's when they might be showing a little bit more of the daytime activity. Ryan Walrath, Regional Wildlife Manager for Idaho's Department of Fish and Game, says it's not usual to come into contact with coyotes in the foothills, really ever, and turns out this time of the year is denning time, so it's not unusual for them to occasionally get aggressive. During the denning time, uh, the coyotes pretty much pair up with one male and one female, and they kind of work together to take care of those pups and provide for them. Walrath says coyotes are in pup rearing stages every year from February until late June, which means they're no longer looking for food only when the sun goes down, as they now have to feed anywhere from two to six pups, including themselves. They're on milk on, on the mother for quite some time, uh, upwards up, uh, up until uh, probably around two months. Uh, but at that point in time, the other teeth start coming in for those pups and they start eating on other things as well, such as insects and other things that mom and dad regurgitate for them to eat. During that time, they're going to be having to hunt a little bit more during the day, and they're protecting those pups. They could be more aggressive uh, to what could be anything that's going to be a threat to, to those pups. And unfortunately, sometimes domestic dogs could pose as a threat. Some of it is territorial. They are just purely protecting. They may not need the food, but they, they will just do what they can to kind of keep their territory free of any risk to their pups living. Um, on the other hand, if you have, depending on the time of year and the seasonality and the rains and what that means for forage availability, that could also mean that they might go after other, other species that they may not normally go after just because they are desperate for additional calories to take care of their young. While Ross says coyotes don't necessarily have migration patterns, instead, they tend to live in areas that are open year round where they can sustain what they need to live. That tends to be rodents, other reptiles, amphibians, and other roadkill. He says as the Treasure Valley continues to grow in all directions, we're going to need to learn how to share the same backyard. As the valley expands and we start um, having these larger communities and in, in these more uh, what used to be open rangeland, that's certainly, we're going to be kind of encroaching on where the coyotes have been naturally inhabiting over many years. They're just trying to find a way to blend in and live with us at the same time. All right, Katya, so the video that you showed in your story there with the dogs kind of chasing the coyote, kind of answers the question that I have for you. What should dog owners do when walking in the foothills? Not that, I'm guessing. Well, Brian, absolutely. First and foremost, it's very important to make sure your dog is on that leash, regardless of how comfortable you are on any given trail. And second of all, try to avoid going on those hikes and those trails at night, especially during this season. Now, the city of Boise also has some helpful recommendations for trail goers right now. They say in part, it's really important for all trail users to remember that foothills are home to a variety of wildlife, including coyotes. Signage is posted at trailhead kiosks and parking lots when a coyote sighting occurs, and we encourage everyone who uses the trails to check posted signage before heading out, even on familiar routes. Now, Walras says if anyone encounters a coyote, the first thing you do is give it a lot of space and definitely don't run. He says whatever you need to do to ensure your safety is recommended, whether that's waving your arms or even getting loud to make it go away. Brian, yeah, make a lot of noise, make yourself big, keep the dogs on the leash. All right, thank you very much. Katya.